Looking forward to that one. And we get you ready for the state track and field meet, but we start in Akron with the state softball tournament. The Bath Wild Kittens are making their eighth appearance in the fi state final four, but their opponents this morning at Firestone Stadium, Talmadge, they're in their record 15th state tourney. Like Bath, the Blue Devils lead by a senior pitcher. And while Kimmy Reynolds starts in the circle for the Wild Kittens, Talmadge counters with Kirsten Legtel, who will nice pitch for Ohio Northern next season. Take a look at this one getting started. Former Bath head coach Laura Ford at the game this morning. Early start for everyone. Jenna Holler and Alyssa Manley have set the tone for the Wild Kittens all season. Today would be no different. Top of the first, we pick, it up, we pick it up. Holler leads things off with a slap single in the shallow left field. First of two hits for the senior. After a stolen base and a ground out, Holler on third for Julia Miller. Junior has really been hitting the ball well of late. Base hit scores, 1-0 Bath on the RBI stand-up double. Bottom of the first, Blue Devils, runner on first, two down. Reynolds strikes out Joanna Catalano to end the inning. Head to the bottom of the third now. After a leadoff single, Talmadge's Taylor Phillips lays down the bunt. Reynolds to Manley, covering at first. And then Manley quickly throws behind the runner at second. Kara Diestenberger for the tag for the 1-4-6 double play. Next batter, here's Leg Toll. Sinking liner in the right, but Manley goes high and picks that one out of the sky to retire the side. Wild Kittens with the momentum in this one. Top of the fourth, there's a base hit. That's Miller, this time going to right center. Another stand-up double. Pick it up here later in the fourth. Pinch runner, Tara Herr on third. Diestenberger, grounder to the left side of the infield. Hare comes in to score. Bath goes up two to nothing. Bath striking early, striking often here in this contest. Moving on to the top of the fifth. Ellie Dakin on third. Holler delivers again, chops it over the third baseman. Plating Dakin, Wild Kittens up three nothing now. Bottom of the sixth, Blue Devils with a two out rally. Here's a runner on second. Tori Young, base hit into center. Catalano scores easily. Talmadge on the board, but that is all they would get in this one. Reynolds goes the distance, allows six hits, but just one run. Strikes out six as Bath advances to the state title game with a three to one victory. Familiar formula in this postseason. Don't make mistakes, get good pitching, and ride the early lead to victory. Third straight game for Bath that they have scored in the top of the first. I think it kind of relaxed us a little bit. I mean, we knew we had to keep putting it on them, but I think it kind of let us take a deep breath and just play our game. I thought our defense was just amazing today. Um, we made some really nice plays in the field that allowed us um, to bring up our energy, and I think that kind of set the tone for us. Um, Kimmy pitched a heck of a game, and um, luckily the top of the order brought the bats for us, and, um, you know, run runners were in scoring position, position, we executed well. You know, the beginning of the game, I was a little nervous, you know. Um, it's a big stage to be on, and I look up in the stands and I see my dad sitting right behind Julia. I'm like, okay. And he gave us notes in our little tournament bags, and he said, just relax, have fun, we're proud of you. And, you know, that kept ringing through my head the whole time, and uh, that's what really kept me calm and collected. Um, there was just some minor things, my swing that I needed to fix, and I mean, I think I got it worked out. I've been working really hard this last week, and coming out here and actually seeing it pay off, it's a really good feeling. So the Division II state championship game is set right there on the screen. You see it. The Wild Kittens will take on Jonathan Alder Saturday morning at 10 back at Firestone Stadium. The Pioneers beating Licking Valley 4-3 this afternoon to improve to an impressive 28-1 on the season.